Darren and Luke from Hall of Fame Collection here. We've got some Formula One helmets in front of us and they're pretty cool because we both have the race worn versions from Charles Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas. And we have the replica versions as well. Yeah, absolutely. The replica versions are pretty cool and that's why we like to put them side by side because collecting replica helmets right now has never been so popular. And what do you think the reason is for that, Luke? Well, for one, it's never been harder to get race-worn helmets and the price of race-worn helmets has got to the stratosphere where it's just not feasible for the majority of people to collect them. And uh, now with the replicas being at such a high level, yeah, it makes it uh, a great option for people because they can get something that looks identical to most aspects to a race-worn helmet, right down to arrow bits, um, the Hans clips, Hans clips, visors, yeah, even the interiors are everything that this personalized for the helmets matches uh, matches the race one down to the smallest detail. Mm -hmm. Like this Charles Leclerc one is one of only six that were produced. It was hand signed by the driver, but it's also been painted by BS Designs as well, which is his original painter. So it's pretty cool seeing it next to the race used version here, of course, and the quality of the artwork on the helmet and also the detail that Bell go into uh, putting it together, right? Yeah, so there is sort of two lines of replicas. There's regular replicas, and then there's also limited edition replicas that tend to come in a case, end up being signed by the driver. Uh, very small batch, usually symbolizing a race win or something like that. Well, when you have the standard replicas, it could be the standard helmet he wore all season and made in a much higher um, amount than uh, than these simple limited edition replicas. Yeah, that's right. I mean, sometimes we don't know how many they produce, but they are still amazing to get. Uh, the oh, price sure. is actually a lot more affordable as well, where you've got this one, it's about 3,500 bucks for the Botas replica yeah. from 2019. His is 2020 race helmet, which is about 20,000, and which they kind of side by side, they almost look identical even though yeah. there was differences in the year. Yeah. I love the matte finish and the glossy finish on the paint as well. The, the Hans clips are on here. You've got the detail inside the visor, right? With the finish flag. They are flag. made by the same company, same painters, pretty well same everything. They are meant as a promotional item, so they're not meant to be worn, the helmets. There is a difference there. So we believe the, the structure of the helmet is slightly different materials yeah. that they aren't as a safety device. But physically from looking at them, I mean, if somebody had to do one or the other, like you wouldn't know. Yeah, that's right. And the, the race versions, of course, as well, we got the Charles Leclerc one, which is very rare. This particular version is actually different to the, the 2019 one because this is his very first Ferrari helmet he ever wore, yeah. which was in 2018 at Abu Dhabi testing. And of course, it's got the Xylon panel on it, which before uh, 2019 came in, you got the the more narrow eye port now as well. So yes, like these two have, yeah. Mm -hmm. But even the arrow pieces on the top of the uh, raced versions um, compared with the replica versions as well, all those are on these helmets too. So rest assured that if you do get one of these replicas in your collection, it's gonna be a great piece to have. Exactly. And also the value of these replicas seem to be going up each year as well. Yeah. So it's a good from an investment standpoint because once these are sold out, they end up becoming harder to get and on the secondary market, the value actually goes up too, right? Yeah, and the keen eye detail people might say, oh, there are some differences in the helmets between these ones and these ones. Well, yes, because they're not identical replicas because they're different years, different versions and seasons and that kind of thing. But just to show you how good the replicas look with a real helmet from the same driver of a different year look together. Yeah, absolutely. We do have more of them on our website, racinghalloffamecollection.com. And guys, if you like this video, remember to hit the like and subscribe button and also share it on all of our social medias as well. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching.